All right, so we've got our extended air card here, you know, with a 50 foot cable, um, 50 foot of Cat 3 cable. So we're going to just get this taken off here um, so I can show you how to custom cut your cable if you only needed, you know, let's say 20 feet. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just remove this adapter right here. All right, so we remove the factory installed adapter. And so now what we want to do is prepare this to install a new adapter. Now, um, I recommend using the Klein tools. Uh, let's see, it's got the part number here somewhere. Yep, the uh, VDV226107. Uh, it's a great tool because it does um, not only cut crimp but it also pre-cuts this uh outer jacket on this cat 3 cable um and also with usually with the ratcheting um cutters you have to you would have to feed like this whole cable through to get to a point where here you don't have to worry about that you could just slide in and cut it you know wherever you need need it to be cut so you just kind of line it up in there cut it off now on this jacket you can see that it actually pre-stripped it uh, hopefully to make it uh, easier for everyone to install their uh, adapter. All right. Now, when you take a look at the orientation of the wires in this jacket here, or this RJ11 adapter, what you're going to see, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's orange, white, blue, blue, and white, orange. Uh, so you just want to take your... RJ11 adapter here and you want to get these oriented in the correct pattern so remember we've got here we've got orange which is going to be on the outer side and we're going to have white blue and then blue uh, with orange or white orange on the exterior. So you want to be able to get those lined up so that you'll be able to feed them into your jacket, or sorry, your RJ11 adapter, your plug. Now we don't need this length, so I'm gonna go ahead and shorten this up a bit. But it, it's easier to orient the wires uh, when you've got some length on them before you uh, cut them to go into the adapter. All right. Again, from the plug lock on the upside here, we want to go orange, white, blue, blue, white, orange. And then just feed that into your, your adapter here. As you can see, your insulation is going to go up into the adapter as well. And once you confirm the orientation of your wires here, and I like to look at the top and confirm I can see the conductors there at the end. Then we just simply plug them in to our uh, Klein tool here and crimp this and finish it off. All right, so now you've pushed in your gold blades here to make contact with your wiring inside. And then basically at this point, um, you were able to custom cut your cable and reattach uh, an RJ11 adapter. I'll go ahead and plug this into a controller here I have on my uh, test table. Just so that we can confirm that I do have power since I've replaced the cable or changed that up. As you can see here we are now. Uh, the green boot up light is flashing now this is a 3g modem that i did um this cut and uh 
and replacement of the RJ11 adapter. So this really shouldn't connect since 3G towers really aren't available at this point. Uh, but I did want to show you that we could at least get power to the system and uh, confirm that uh, we had made a good connection with our RJ11 adapter and the, uh, the conductors within the Cat3 cable. All right, hope this helps. Thank you.